It's hard enough to make a podcast that sounds great and appeals to your audience. Getting your episodes to show up on a web search isn't just harder, it's probably antithetical to how you create content today. Hello and welcome to another podcast pontifications with me, Evo Terra. You're not special, podcaster. When it comes to solid search engine optimization techniques, neither you nor your episodes are special. You, and that means me, are subject to the same rules and best practices and guidelines when it comes to SEO, search engine optimization, for every other piece of content on the web. As it turns out, we're just making content. We're just making web content, and there's nothing really special about the content we make. No special rules for us. So if you know a lot about SEO, and I know a fair amount about SEO, having ran SEO shops, large-scale teams that did good, solid SEO work for a number of years, I know that it kind of doesn't matter what you're making. The same rules apply to all of us that have to do with and for podcasters, those rules of SEO, as I said previously, might be very different than the way we're used to making content. Here's typically how podcast content is created. It's going to vary from person to person, but here's the basic rundown of how most podcast episodes are conceptualized and, and then actually implemented. In, in large overview here, you pick a topic that you want to talk about, that you think resonates with your audience. You figure out what it is that you want to say, number one. Number two, maybe you find a guest. Maybe that helps you with the show, but maybe you're the expert and you can talk about that one thing. Maybe you've got a monologue show like me. Third thing you do is you sit down and you record. Maybe you make a few notes what you want to talk about. That's fine, but you record an episode. Whatever it takes you to record the episode, you record that episode. When it's all done, skipping the editing and all the good process that's fun and interesting, when it's time to publish, you write up some show notes. God, I hate that term. You write up some show notes, and then you publish. That's it. Well, the problem is, your audience may love that. You may know your audience inside and out. You may know exactly what you want to give them, and they're going to love that content, right? But it's probably not going to rank when people do a web search on whatever your topic happened to be. And if it does happen to rank, it's probably not going to come up on the first page. And if you know anything about the way people behave on search engines, uh, I challenge yourself to think of the last time you went to the second page on a search engine. You probably don't. 99 some odd percent of the people don't go past the first page. So, in order for you to change that, in order for you to get your content ranking on the first page, I'm going to walk you through the steps that you need to do instead. A different way of doing things. Are you ready? Here we go. Number one, you don't get to pick your topic first. I mean, you kind of have that in mind, but then you refine your topic with keyword research. That means using specialized tools that you can find on the web that might cost money to use to figure out what actual keywords people are using when they're searching for the topic you think you want to talk about. Do keyword research before you start your process. Step two, after you know what keywords you're going after, what people are searching on that you think you can rank well for, and there's a whole topic that we're not getting into today. You then got to agonize over your title. Yeah, before you actually record a single word, you agonize over the title. Again, using software you can find on the web to help you create a compelling, click-worthy title. Once you have those two things, then you figure out what angle you're going to take for your show. I talked about angles a little bit yesterday. You're going to talk about, you're going to figure out what the angle your show is going to be, what the point of view you're going to take with that keyword research you've done and that title in mind. Great. Step four, finally record your episode. Oh, but you're going to use that angle 
and you're going to realize what your title was and you know what your keyword research was so that you can do all of those things again while you're recording this show. Constant reinforcement. Again, skipping the very fun editing and producing step. Let's go straight to the next thing is writing. you got to write some content, except you're not writing some content. You're writing around 2,000 words. Not 500. Certainly not a paragraph and a couple of links. Not a, hey, to get the rest of the information, please listen to the episode, because that's not how it works. You have to write a lot of words. Once you've written those lots of words, you then have to optimize those words. Remember that keyword research you did previously? Uh huh. Optimize those words to make sure that throughout the 2,000 words that you just wrote, you're referencing those words and you're on point with the angle you tried to go with. You're not done. Now you've got to actually go find and add in visual elements that help make that web page really compelling. Visual elements? Evo, this was a podcast episode. Yeah, well, we're talking about getting a podcast episode page to rank. And you need visual elements to help you do that. After you have those on, now you have to optimize the overall page structure. Yeah, it just can't be your title and 2,000 words of block text. You really need to break that up with headings. Mm-hmm so that it makes them more easily scannable and readable because Google and web searchers love it when that's the content you deliver them. Once all of that is done, then you finally go back and rewrite everything. <laughs> you rewrite everything as necessary because it needs you need to optimize what we call the readability. You need to make sure you're not talking too high or too low, and you've got it clean, and everything looks really good, which means a final editorial pass and maybe rewriting a few passages. Once that's done, that was the ninth step. Now you're finally ready to publish. Yay! You can publish, but you're not done. Once you've got it published, you need to syndicate that content some other places. Yeah, it can't. I mean, yes, it can just live on your website, but if you really want to win at this, you got to publish it in other avenues, like Medium, like maybe your Google local page, or something along these lines, pointing back to your website once again. And then finally do it all over again with the next episode. And by the way, I'm not even getting into all of the work that has to be done ahead of time on your website to make sure it is set up properly. From Google search tools, right? The Google search console, uh, Google Analytics, maybe even Google Tag Manager so you can track and see if any of this stuff is actually working. And that also assumes you've done the, the legwork ahead of time so that the site architecture, the way your website is constructed, is conducive to getting good rankings. Good titles and descriptions, do they actually work? Are things linked together? Is there a menu bar? All of the things that Google needs to crawl around, that are all those things done? Oh, and then of course you have to make sure you have really good content. That sounds great. As I said, getting web pages to rank highly so that which is the only thing that really matters is hard work it takes energy and effort it takes me a long time <laughs> to do it and i don't do it fully i mean you're talking hours of work per episode i'm not joking you you're talking about hours per work of work per episode so i ask you the question is it worth it i think it is but that's a question you have to answer for yourself. Now listen, I know this is getting long in the tooth, so I'm just going to ask you real quickly, one thing, do me a favor, find a podcaster who you know of that doesn't listen to this show and let them know. It's great that you're tweeting about me and putting it in a Facebook group, but I mean individually reach out to someone and say, listen to podcast pontifications. And then finally, tomorrow I have some more stories of podcasters like yourself who are making it through this pandemic. I still want your stories. Please send them to me. Record a minute or two of talking about how the coronavirus has impacted your life. Throw it up on Dropbox. Shoot me a link at evo at podcastlaunch.pro. I shall be back tomorrow with yet another podcast pontifications. Cheers. <laughs>